Hello everyone welcome to civil engineering shailus updates how to draw house front elevation in autocad this is the plan for which we are going to draw front elevation in autocad now let's start drawing first draw a line here type l in the command box press enter draw a line like this press escape key now type excel in the command box this excel is the shortcut command for x line tool these lines can be used as construction lines and also as reference lines now press enter now press v for vertical v for vertical press enter Now you get a vertical line like this. Now click at this point and also click at this point to make boundaries. This is the ground level line. Now take offset of about 3 feet from this ground level to draw plinth level. How to take offset? Type O in the command box. Press enter. give 3 feet as offset distance press enter now select this line and click here this level is plinth level and this level is called ground level next from this plinth level take offset of about 7 feet which is lintel level so type o in the command box press enter give 7 feet as offset distance again press enter now select this line and click here this is called lintel level next from this lintel slab take offset type o in the command box press enter give 6 inches press enter now select this line and click here This is called lintel slab. Press escape key. Now, from this lintel slab, take offset of about three feet, which is roof level. Type O in the command box. Press enter. Give three feet as offset distance. Again, press enter. Now, select this line and click here. This is called roof level. Now again take offset type O in the command box press enter give 6 inches as offset distance again press enter now select this line and click here this is called roof slab finally take offset of about 3 feet from this roof slab type O in the command box press enter give 3 feet as offset distance again press enter now select this line and click here and this line is called parapet wall press escape key now we have to trim the extra lines which is surrounded here type tr in the command box double enter now start to trim this outer lines like this and delete these two lines Now from this lintel slab we have to draw projection of sun shade. So draw a line of about 1 feet 6 inches from this lintel level. So type L in the comment box press enter specify first point and give 1 feet 6 inches press enter. Now give 4 inches Again press enter. Now you can join this point. This is the projection of sun shade. In front elevation you can see the sun shade like this. Now similarly we have to draw on other side of this lintel level. Type L in the comment box, press enter. Specify first point, give 1 feet 6 inches. Again press enter. 
Now give 4 inches. Press enter and join this point. That's it. Next, we have to draw roof slab projection. This is called roof slab. Here, little projection will be there. We have to draw that roof slab projection. Type L in the comment box. Press enter. Click at this point. Give 6 inches. Press enter. Again give 6 inches. Press enter. And join this point. Similarly, here also we have to draw roof slab projection. Type L in the comment box. Press enter. Specify first point. Give 6 inches. Press enter. Again give 6 inches. Press enter. And click at this point. And this is called roof slab projection. Now trim the extra lines. TR double ender and trim this line trim this line again in roof slab trim this line press escape key now it's time to draw windows and doors here in this plan you can see two windows and a door to draw windows and door in elevation, we can use X line command. So type Excel in the command box. Press enter. Now press V for vertical. Now click at this point. Correctly, you have to click at this window. This point. Now at this point. this point press escape key now go to rectangle or you can type or easy in the command box press enter click at this first point go to this dimension now we have to specify the length of rectangle the length of rectangle is 4 feet press enter Specify width of rectangle. Width of rectangle is also 4 feet. Press enter. Now click at this point. Press escape key. Now take offset. So type O in the command box. Press enter. Give 3 inches as offset distance. Again press enter. Now click at this rectangle and click inside. Now draw a line from this midpoint. Type L in the comment box. Press enter. Now click at this point and click at this point. In this plan, both windows are of same size. So copy this window here. Now select this window. Type CO in the comment box. Press enter. Now Specify base point and click here. Press escape key. Similarly, we have to draw door here. Type REC in the command box. Press enter. Specify first corner point. Now select this dimension. Give the length of door as 3.5 feet. Press enter. And the width of door as 7 feet. Width of door means height of door. That is 7 feet. Press enter. Now click at this point. Now take offset. Type O in the comment box. Press enter. Give 3 inches as offset distance. Again press enter. Now select this door and click inside. Now draw a line. Type L in the command box. Using this midpoint, draw a line. Again, take offset. Press enter. Give offset distance as 2 inches. Again, press enter. Now, select this line. Click here. And click here. Press escape key. Now, you can delete this 
reference lines now we have to draw staircase type l in the comment box press enter from this point give 3 feet press enter then from this reference point click here then join here press escape key now type ar in the comment box you can see here array path tool click here now select this line press enter now we have to select path in this path only you can see the risers of staircase in front elevation so select this path and now here you have to give the size of riser and the riser height is 6 inches press enter now when you click this staircase it has been grouped already so we have to explore this staircase you have to explore this staircase for further editing type ex in the comment box which is the shortcut command for explode click this explode now you can see all the rises has been separated now you can easily edit this one now select up to this and delete now join this line in front view you can see the handrail of the staircase so type o in the comment box press enter give offset distance as 2 inches again press enter now select this line and click here again take offset press enter give offset distance as 10 inches press enter now select this line and click here now again take offset type o in the command box press enter give offset distance as 2 inches press enter now select this line and click here again take offset type o in the command box press enter give offset distance as 10 inches press enter now select this line and click here again take offset type o in the comment box press enter give offset distance as 2 inches again press enter now select this line and click here this is the handrail of the staircase that you could see in the front elevation view now again here we have to draw one handrail type o in the comment box press enter give offset distance as 2 inches for handrail press enter now click at this line and click here now trim extra lines type tr in the comment box double enter now you are going to trim lines which is inside the handrail For your understanding, I am explaining very slowly. Now we can start using hatch. Type hatch in the comment box. Press enter. Click up this arrow. For front view, I am going to give this design. Here, I am going to give 75. Press escape key. Again, go to hatch tool. For windows, we are going to give hatch. For windows, I am going to use these stars. Here we can give 75. Now click here and click here. 
You can use any design as per your wish. Now let's give hatches for doors. For doors, I'm going to give this triangle. Here, I'm going to type as 50. Now click here and click here. Press escape key. Now let's see the dimensions once again. This level is called ground level. The distance between this ground level and plinth level is 3 feet. And the height of window is 4 feet. The length of window is also 4 feet. Both windows are of same size. The height of door is 7 feet. The length of door is 3.5 feet. The thickness of this lintel slab is 6 inches. The thickness of this roof slab is also 6 inches. Height of parapet wall we can give from 2 feet 6 inches to 3 feet. I have given 3 feet. You can also give 2.5 feet. Up to this point is called lintel level 7 feet height. This is how you have to draw friend elevation of a house easily in AutoCAD. In next video you will see how to draw sectional elevation of a house in AutoCAD in detail. So stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shiloh's Updates. Now I'll explain you how to save this friend elevation in PDF form. Press Ctrl plus P in your keyboard. This dialog box will be appeared here and when you click this arrow, you have to select AutoCAD PDF High Quality Print. Here you have to select ISO A4 297 into 210 landscape here window here you have to select from this point to this point click OK now select folder to save here we can type as friend elevation in AutoCAD. Save.